don't get I don't get his battle strategy. But okay. He obviously knows how to win. Worst case scenario, Babas runs up and physical attacks. Best case scenario, he doesn't. He's got the BCS, baby. I'm not gonna gamble. I'm gonna heal and move over to the Exodus fruit. My god, we've been recording for over an hour. I hope there aren't any other plot chain battles anymore. Oh my gosh. I'm so done with this. <sighs> nice demi missed. So this fight, this fight is all over but the me winning. Or this Exodus Fruit taking two hits. Time waster of a few seconds of unnoticed necessary cut filler. Blah 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 blah. blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, this is harder than you won, and yeah, this is a uh, mess up in the middle of the episode. Doesn't last all the way to the end, but it does kind of interfere with the last bit of the fight. These Exodus flowers are nothing. Babis was a, is a douchebag. This is this little bit here post commentated. I know what a shame. Marsh really got some levels here. I really liked that portion of that segment of this that game. I didn't think to try and like attack Babis or anything, but I didn't know what would happen if I did, so I just decided against it because well, he can counterattack. That's never fun. <coughs> Just, yeah, really, healing, physical attacking, I could have attacked it there and moved away, I had better judgment skills than that there, thankfully. I could have started with that Exodus flow, but I, I wanted to start and go and finish on that one for, <laughs> never mind, <laughs> that sounded very, very vulgar. Wow, I wore down a lot of his MP during that fight. Damn. I didn't know I'd done that. <coughs> How much longer do we have on this clip? I have another minute. So, yeah. Marsh has been quartered. Really halved, but, you know... Leave Bavis up to messing up magic names or the game or Square or whoever because you know that that's how they do what they do. Hmm. <coughs> this was a very effective strategy for winning because every time I seemed to face him, he would either not attack or use quarter, and thankfully that missed. Sid. And I think we'll be coming back in any time now. And I know for a fact I will be talking about some my business strategy for winning, which to me sounds really lame. Like I go and I heal here and then I run away again. <sighs> hmm. 
I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate to this, to this business strategy of mine. <laughs> I got something stuck in my throat, no matter water. Right at the end of the fight. <clears throat> and with this, I end it. Dude, Marsh gained like two levels in this fight, man. He did it. Oh my god. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. But she's alive here. Huh? Awesome. Awesome. That is great. Vieras now have Totemos. Oh man, look at that. Look at what we get for that. Jesus Christ. No more. Alright. We're, we're done. We're just going to take a quick, quick. That's it. Can we look at the next? There's nothing. Alright. Alright. You guys. Well, I'm so state. Five slots. Let's try leaving Sprom. Okay, get this going now. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Moot. Oh my gosh. You obviously do care. Oh, hurtful little bitch, after all he did for you? Who is he? Huh. Lender, Yender, Lender. That name seems awfully familiar.
That that kind of worries me. His name seems familiar. Maybe we've seen it before. But before we go, we'll place this bog over here. So, what kind of threat will Yendar Tomb be to us? And will we find the last crystal? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. I'm holier than you one. Have a great day, and I will see you all later.